Hi, Tupi Tubers! In this video, I'm going to make my first animation exercise using Tupi Tube. And this time I'm happier because we're going to learn several basic concepts related to the animation process. Also, this first exercise, of course, will be simple and easy because before learning how to run, we have to learn how to walk. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we will do is launch the Tupi Tube application and create a new project. Next, we will learn about the different parts of the application related to the animation process. For this exercise, we will use the work area or canvas, which we already worked with in the previous video. The new components are the exposure table located on the right side edge and the timeline located on the bottom edge of the interface. Both components are used to animate, so you can choose either of them to work with. The exposure table runs vertically from top to bottom, and the timeline runs horizontally from left to right. For this exercise, we will use the exposure table. If you look closely, there is a column composed of tiny rectangles. Think of each one of those rectangles as a sheet of paper. When you start the project, there is only one rectangle labeled frame. But if you click on the second rectangle, you will notice that a new one is created. We will call each one of these rectangles an animation frame. If you click on the frame number 5 in the exposure table, you will notice that 5 frames are automatically created. For our practice today, we will create 10 frames, so we click on frame number 10. Now, think of those 10 frames as a notebook with 10 pages. Every time you select a page in the notebook, you will be placed on that particular page. Next, we are going to pick the first frame. Now, we are going to use the canvas in which we illustrated in the previous video, but this time we are going to draw the number 1 in the center of the sheet. Then, we we'll return to the exposure table and select frame number 2. On the canvas or work area, we'll draw the number 2. You will notice that on the sheet you can faintly see the number 1 that you drew in the previous frame. Imagine that those sheets of your notebook are thinner, like tracing paper, and you can slightly see what you have drawn in the previous frames. Next, we'll repeat the same process from frame 3 to frame 10. On each notebook sheet, we'll draw the number that corresponds to the frame in the center of the sheet until we complete 10 numbers, one per frame. Once this task is finished, you'll press the Enter key. This option will activate the Player tab, which is the component that we'll use to view how our animation is turning out. As you may have noticed, the first time you played your animation with the numbers, it seems to be too fast. To control the speed of your animation, let's go to the FPS field located at the bottom of the player. By default, the number that appears in the field is 24. But what does that mean? It means that 24 frames will be displayed for every second of your animation. The lower the value in the FPS field is, the slower your animation will be. Let's try changing the value to 12 and click on the play icon. Do you notice that it's a little bit slower now? Now let's try 8. And then 4. And finally 2. Let's take this moment to learn two shortcuts that can be very useful. The Enter key, which you can use to go from the work area or canvas to the animation player and vice versa. In other words, it's used to switch between these two modes quickly. The space bar in the player tab, which you can use to start or stop the animation whenever you want. Finally, I'll publish my animation exercise on tuptube.com to share it with our virtual community. To do this, I go to the top menu Publish and select the option Publish Animation. 
Next, the same dialog that we saw in the previous video appears. So I proceed to fill it out in the same way. I added a title, some tags, and a small description, and that's it! Remember that to enhance your skills and get familiar with the application interface, you have to practice a lot. For example, for this exercise, you could try with different letters or in other numbers, or you could just create a secret message. Just give it a try! To be tours, I know that this first exercise may seem quite simple and boring to some of you. However, we are just learning the basics of animation. As we advance in this series of videos, you'll see that we'll carry out much more elaborate exercises. I promise! If you like this video, give it a like and also, if you post your animation exercise in the TubeT community, let me know in the comments below so I can go check it out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because you know that many more exercises are coming out. So, see you in the next video, TubeTubers! Stay tuned!